All right, everybody. Welcome to JG9 Live, where we are doing our weekly Monday night stream that has moved to Tuesday night for this one week in particular. Um, almost like a um, almost like Monday night football on Sunday morning, or like how they used to do Monday night football on the on the Thursday night or Sunday night back in the day. Uh, we're moving this Monday night Q and A to Tuesday night for today, just because. Um, Again, the men's championship was yesterday for the for basketball, UConn, Purdue, and I was at the game, so couldn't do the stream. But we are back to normal now um, after a crazy, crazy weekend. So thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Jared Garrett Nine, our weekly Q and A slash GeoGuessr stream, where you can ask me any questions you want in the chat. I'll be happy to answer about anything and everything, and we play some GeoGuessr on top of that. Was at the final four for all three games, so I'm sure there's gonna be some questions about that. So. Um, yeah, this is your opportunity to ask me anything and everything that you want while I play some GeoGuessr. If you ever played GeoGuessr before, click the link on top. It is completely free to play. It is completely free to enter. You don't need to do anything at all. Uh, how the game works is like this. We play GeoGuessr. You have two minutes for each round. It's going to plop you anywhere in the world, and you can, you can basically... Um, you have to guess where you are. You have to guess where you are. And we're going to alternate between the world and the United States map. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go from there. And highest score at the end of five rounds wins, and then we do it all over again. We're gonna be on stream for an hour. Oh, by the way, happy birthday, Golden Steel! Happy happy birthday to a longtime fan of the of the channel. Thank you for choosing this for your birthday with me. This is gonna be a fun one. This is gonna be a fun fun. This is gonna be a fun one. Um. So if you um. If you donate ten bucks or more, we'll play whatever map you want me to. Keep that in mind. Otherwise, we're just going to alternate between the world and the U.S. So, we're going to alternate between the world and the U.S., but any donation, 10 bucks or more, and I'll play whatever you want me to. On top of that, we're going to be on stream for an hour minimum, but every donation increases the time that we're on stream. So, you see a donation of 5 bucks, we increase by 4 minutes. A donation of 10 bucks, we increase by 7 minutes. 20 bucks, 12 minutes, you, you get the idea. Once the clock hits zero, that's the end of the stream. But we can go on for as long as possible. There is no set time limit. Also, keep in mind that um, I'm going to get some JG9 news stuff out tonight and tomorrow on the UFL. We'll have a video dropping on JG9 that I want to get out today. We'll have that come out tomorrow. I want to really get it out today. But basically, as I was finishing it up, uh, my legs started acting up. And that is always the telltale sign for me that my body is going to shut down in five minutes. So... <laughs> Because I've I've restless legs, so once that like that's that's the sign of yeah you you're gonna crash. So can't do that, can't do that. And then it was like falling asleep while I was typing. I'm like yeah this is not gonna work out. <laughs> this is not gonna work out. So we'll just we'll just do it tomorrow instead. But yeah, thank you guys again for tuning in and let's start this game. Let's start this stream. And yeah, we're we're gonna do the the dumb decisions on the Houston DC game. Oh don't you worry. We're gonna do an attendance breakdown. We're gonna do DC. We're gonna talk about ESPN because they made a few errors with the UFL. We're going to do a lot. We're going to do a lot in the coming 24 hours that I really want to get out earlier, but uh, better late than never. All right. So with that, we're going to do the world map to start off and let's start this timer and let's do this. All right. Thoughts on Quantum Set Part 5? I've not seen it yet. I'm going to watch it uh, probably tonight. I've had no real time lately. All right. This could be the US. Wait. Maximum 70? No, it's not US. It's not US. Yeah, this could be anywhere in the world. It could be. Could be Canada potentially. And maximum. We don't do maximum. But this could be like Canada. This could be Canada. And again, you can't see my map. All right. Yeah. Okay. Maximum. The French. Yeah. This is a uh, somewhere in that region. All right. Let's see. Somewhere in that region. Let's see. Yeah, Everton is in trouble. I, I just, I, I hate what, what the, um, what they're doing. I honestly hate what is going on right now in terms of just make a decision and stick with it. Like, it's a 10-point deduction, then it gets reduced, and then it, it gets taken again. Like, just make a decision so we know where, where, where everyone stands. Like, this is nuts. This is taking way too long. Just make one decision and stick with it. All right. Okay. So, I know we're, we're in the French part of this country, but I don't know where if this is like near Quebec, if this is near Montreal, but it's, it's somewhere. Let's see. 
How's it going, Got Mono? Welcome to the stream. How's it going, um, James? Should the national championship start earlier than 9.20? It would be... It would be a lot if it started earlier than that. Just because traffic would be absolutely nuts on a Monday night. If it's on the West Coast... Alright, Montreal is 117 that way. Alright. Sherbrooke is 16 that way. And that place is 4. So I'm somewhere, somewhere around here. Yeah, we gotta be somewhere around here. All right, I'm just gonna go there. Yep, I'll take that. I'll gladly take that. Was it further south than I thought? Yeah, it was a bit further south. That's fine. Yeah, the season has been brutal for certain teams. I mean, D-backs are four and seven. I'm not worried. I'm not even the slightest bit worried about the D-backs. Yeah, I know four and seven people want to panic. Trust me. Our team's on IL. Once Montgomery gets in there. Once Seawall gets back, we, bullpen's figured out. Once Montgomery's in there, we don't have to play Ryan Nelson or Tommy Henry as much. I'm not I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried at all. All right. Do I think the women's ratings will ever reach that high levels of post Kalen Clark era? Um, I don't think next year. I think it's gonna be hard, but eventually, yeah. Eventually, I mean, there, there's definitely an untapped market here. There's definitely an untapped market here. All right. So here... I think I just play it safe here. I think I just play it safe on this one so I can find something. Yeah, it's okay. You don't have to be that good, Geogaster. You don't have to be that good, Geogaster, to play. Yeah, post-Clark Women's Wrestle will have great ratings. I think UConn also with Beckers. You're going to see some high ratings. People also... Look, you know what people like? People like a villain. People like a good villain. The better LSU does with Mulkey as head coach, oh, people are going to tune in. Like how people tune into Duke just to watch them lose. People will tune into whatever team Mulkey's coaching just to watch her lose. A good villain is good for the sport. And ratings. What UK band came out with Hold On Tight in 1981? That was a ELO. That was ELO. I like that sound a lot. Am I watching the Fever play the Mercury on June 30th? Ticket prices are insane for that game already. So, no. <laughs> no. Um, I think it's going to be like... I think the get-in price is like 150 It is nuts. It is absolutely nuts. Alright, there we go. Yeah, just pop it by Tokyo. Plot by Tokyo. Be smart. I was rooting for Purdue just because they've never... They haven't... They've, they've never won in the modern era. I'm tired of UConn. But dominant team. One of the best teams of all time. Alright. Hyundai... Alright. This is... This is real because it's like partly in English. But it's definitely... So it's usually like Filipino vibe. Absolutely no riders. Well, there there are riders right there. So. Alright. Oh. Does it, it doesn't say a country. Oh, come on. It doesn't say a country. It does not say a country. Like, this feels like, like Filipino vibe. Or Indonesia. This, this is something like... Oh, wait, here we go. There we go. All right, we're good. I'm not going to show anything anymore. There we go. Yeah, we're somewhere around here. Definitely in, like, the... In, like, the... Let's say the forest area, but... How's it going, Gutmana? Welcome to the stream. Percentage chance UConn three-peats? I'd say 20%. I'm not banned against them at this point. I'm not banned against them. Marlins will not win tonight. No trust. I mean, the sample size is not good right now. <laughs> the Jazz is back. Jazz is back. No Whoppers for Marlins fans. Yeah, so they have to play at home for that to happen. But who knows when the first Whopper is going to be? It's going to be a joyous occasion when it happens. No smoking within. That's not how you spell within. There's, it's it's one word. No smoking within 15 feet. We got a tour from Gutmana. Thank you so, so much. Let's reset that clock by a bit. Why is Jalen Hurts' this week 15 deep shot... Not on dumb decisions. Um, usually I'm not going to criticize play calls like that. Um, 
I I wouldn't have done it, but I at least get the the idea behind it. I at least get the idea behind taking a deep shot there, trying to end the game. I at least get the idea. Um, could Caitlin Clark draw ten million for a WNBA game? No, no, I don't think so. Part part of the reason why people watch the tournament because you have to ask yourself. People don't watch college basketball during the season. Why do they watch it during the, the tournament? Well, it's because there's the office camaraderie of filling out brackets. So part of why you watch is because you fill out a bracket, and you try to win the competition, people fill that women's brackets and whatnot. There's no real WNBA pick and pool in the office. So you're not going to get the casual fans like that. Now, a Caitlin Clark game, I think the game against the Liberty... I think that's, what, a Sunday afternoon game on ABC with Ionescu? Ionescu against Clark? I think that could get, like, $5 million. I think that would, that would, that would be the highest-rated regular season game of all time. Caitlin Clark's debut is going to draw well, and the game in Celebrity is going to be the highest-rated regular season game of all time. But could she draw $10 million? I don't think we're there yet. NBA games don't even... Very few NBA games even draw $10 million at this point. Not even the finals. Not even the finals can draw... Sometimes, at least. All right, Ridge and Hobson. All right, this feels very much like this particular country. All right. I was getting these vibes at the start. We're going to plop it here. This feels... It's, I don't know where in this country we are, but I have a feeling it's this country. For those who are, I have my stream right now. I've got Brewers Reds. I've got Capitals Red Wings. I've got the Braves Mets. And i got the Marlins game. Better chance of meters striking down at Dodger Stadium than the Mets trading Pete Alonso. Yeah, I don't see him trading Alonso like the one good thing they have going for them. I don't see him doing it. How are the seats of the Final Four? So it's actually funny. The seats of the Final Four are pretty good. I'm not going to lie. The, so I sat in the back row for Game 1. For Game 1, I sat in the very, very back row. You could actually see everything. You could actually see everything very clearly. It was not bad. It was not bad. All right. I don't know where we are in New Zealand, but I think we're in New Zealand. I don't know where we are. We are... Oh, it was the northern part. I was going to go the northern part, but okay. Was that the only one against New Zealand on that one? I'll take that. Oh, no, someone else guessed Auckland. There you go. Nice guess. Nice guess. So actually, it was not bad. It was not bad at all. All right, this is... Yeah. But then what happened was that when you're in the top row, you can see all the empty seats. And this, the place emptied out after Purdue NC State. Emptied out, because there were a lot of NC State fans and Purdue fans, so a lot of them just left. No Alabama fans. No Alabama fans. So I moved down for game two. And then the championship, I got them for 100 bucks. And what I did was I checked Ticketmaster as I was about to enter the arena. So I bought, I bought the seats like two hours before game time. I bought the seats two hours before game time. And what I did was I saw all the empty seats and I just moved down and sat in the 100 level because no one was sitting there in that section. There was like a whole, I guess like there were a bunch of tickets like someone tried to resell and they couldn't, they couldn't do it. So I just sat and they didn't check my tickets. They didn't check anything. Um, I've done it for Cardinals games too for the preseason. Um, so I basically sat in the 100 level for 100 bucks. <laughs> so those seats, if you're wondering, yeah, no, I just... Yeah, they uh, they do not. There there's some tips and tricks to that stadium to make it more pleasant. Like the parking situation, the traffic situation in particular. A lot of um, okay, I know what country we're in. Like, yeah, I say it's a pain I'm about to get to. If traffic comes to a standstill, and if you don't know what you're doing, it's absolutely nuts. Because um, I, I saw the videos of people just completely stuck in traffic, not moving. And uh, being a nightmare, but there's a basically there's a bunch of different parking lots. They have to buy a, a ticket to all of them, so I'm guessing only few bought parking passes before. But there's one lot you don't have to buy a parking pass for; you just pay there. It's the black lot, and it's about a 10 minute walk from the same, but it's like in the same complex. I'm just gonna plop it here. I don't know where we are in this place. Is that enough? There we go. Got the win. All right. There we go. All right. Starting things off strong. It's Michael Hall coming out with the fiver. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Hey, GG. Hope you're well, brother. Along with us. Hey, GG fam. Grinding Grubhub tonight, as always. 
Uh, dealing with a storm. Ooh, stay safe, man. Stay safe. Uh, but Frank be with you. Yeah, Frank be with you as you as you weather this storm. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so, so much. Again, 10 bucks to roll. Play whatever you want me to. Otherwise, we're just going to do... Um, we're just going to alternate between world and U.S. So we'll do U.S. next. So yeah, like if you're ever going to State Farm Stadium... Go to and you're driving. Go to the black lot. Go and park in the black lot. Um, it's not a matter of pricing. It's more a matter of it's easy in and out. Super easy in and out. Um, like I, I left the stadium last night after one shining moment. So I think that was at nine ten, and I was back in my place at nine forty. All right, let's do U.S. map next. Here we go. As got mana, with another tour. Thank you so much, man. Let me get you in there. Why were the Cardinals three... Or why were the Eagles three runs against the Cardinals? Not a dumb decision. You have to, like, go back and, and re-watch that game. I, I didn't think it was... Like, yeah, they, they coached a bad game. But I just think the execution wasn't there. I just think the execution wasn't there at all. I don't... Um, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I... The, the thing I remember that game was the Cardinals surprise onside kick, and I had no problem with that. I had no problem with that. Um, I didn't do any defense somebody on that, but I probably should have. Zach, you with the tour? Thank you so, so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, the Pens annoy me. How do you lose to the Leafs? The, the Pens are an enigma. The Pens are basically the, the Steelers. Um, the, NFL, the NHL version of the Steelers. They are an enigma. I don't know what's going to happen with the Pens this year. All right. Again, this is a U.S. map. This feels like it could only be one state. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, this feels like it could only be one state in particular. Now, where is this city? In this state. Okay, I obviously know where we... Like, what state we're in. I just don't know. Is it closer to... Where the Chargers used to play or where they play now? <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. I don't know which one it is. Yeah, if you ever go to State Farm, Black Lot. Black Lot, you will thank me later. It is it is very easy getting in, very easy getting out. And he just, there's only one light you have to deal with, and that's it. The other places, there's like five or six different lights, and they all are super slow. So, like, I know, like, it was a pain in the butt for a lot of people. I didn't have an issue getting in and out. But that's because I've known... Oh, what's closer to L.A.? Was... Oh, Monterey Park is... Oh, it's not the name of a park. It's the actual name of the city. Oh, I didn't realize that. How's it going, bud? Welcome to the stream. What's the best part of State... Oh, wait. How is the food at State Farm? Um, I didn't buy any food. I did not buy any food there. I just ate when I got back to my place. I've never actually had the food at State Farm. I've never actually had the food. I don't really buy concessions at Stamps. I'm... Whoa, why is this so bright? Okay. This is so disorienting. I, I'm not doing this, by the way. I am not... Okay. Yeah, I usually don't buy concessions at food. Or... Wow. Concessions at stadiums. I don't really do that. Can you go down this way? You can. All right. Motorcycles are everywhere. Wow, that is, um... What is that mailbox? Oh, that's kind of cool. Motorcycles are everywhere. That's... I don't know what the point of that sign was. Best part of State Farm Stadium? Um, probably the outside, the Great Lawn. I mean, the Great Lawn is super cool, and they, they, do a good, they do a good job with the Great Lawn. That's a great atmosphere. The concourses are way too narrow at State Farm. I will say that the concourses are way too narrow... It's not that good of a stadium. Like, it's honestly not that good of a stadium. The concourses are way too narrow. It doesn't wrap a, like it doesn't wrap around all the way in the 400 level. Which, I don't have a problem with not wrapping around all the way in the 400 level if there's nothing there. But, like, like Everbank. Like, that doesn't wrap around all the way in the 400 level. But you know that. You know that going in. Because you can see there's, there's an east side and a west side. So, obviously, there's nothing north and south, and you can't do anything. But, in the, um... 
There's no reason that it shouldn't wrap around at State Farm. There's no reason whatsoever. All right, this feels very much like places I grew up in. Welcome to... Mo oh, now I found it. Okay, close enough, though. Close enough. Close enough. I was like, that looks like Connecticut. Like, they really could have done a way better job of that stadium. No, I'm not being picky about... I'm not, I'm not being picky about the stadium. You can't, like... If you've been to that stadium, you know what I'm talking about. I, I've been there many times. It's not, like, that good of a stadium. It really is not. Like, it's way too narrow. There's so many bottlenecks there. The seats are comfy. I, I will say there, there are some good stuff, obviously. Like, the seats are comfy. The views are great. The views are, are really good. Like, I, there really is not a bad seat in the house at State Farm. And I've sat in the 400 level many times. There is not a bad seat at State Farm. All right. Well, I know what state we're in. I don't know what part of the state, but I know what state we're in. And what, what else? Oh, um... What else do I like about State Farm? Again, the, the Great Lawn's good. But the team shop has nothing. The team shop has absolutely nothing. Parking, if you don't know about the Black Lock, getting in and out is a nightmare. They really built that thing in the middle of nowhere. Now, if they ever get the light rail to go to Glendale, we, we are having an entirely different conversation. If they ever get the light rail to go to Glendale, things get a heck of a lot better. I did see a road sign. 169. All right. 169 is here. How deep does it go? How deep does 169 go? Um, this looks like we're, we're in the middle of something, at least. Let's see here. All right. Got Mana. Thank you so, so much with the tour. We got your name in there. Can. A dumb decision to be made for a Matt Patricia promotion. Anything involving Matt Patricia is an automatic dumb decision. Anything involving that is a dumb decision. Making him, promoting him, the Patriots um, having him run the offense. Everything involving Matt Patricia is a dumb decision. It's crazy. Alright, this looks like every suburb... Let's see what we got. Playing well so far. Again, 10 bucks from all play whatever you want me to. Forest Park Community Church. No clue what that is. Maybe this place will help. For rent. Okay, so it's a giant ammo store, so we're probably somewhere so we're probably somewhere in the south. So I say Dollar Tree and Dollar General right next to each other. A super fitness center. Oh, not just a fitness center. It's a super fitness center. Wow. Okay. Okay, we have police. Okay. Come on. Give me to the cop car. Give me to the cop car. Beautiful. All right. Well, I know where we are. Let's see. We have a super fitness center. Now, let's see if we can find a road. Yeah, again, we're going to have a lot of UFL videos on the on JG9 News in the next 24 hours. I really want to get those out before, but I'll be, but uh, just couldn't do it with the... My body was just shot after the Final Four. I did, like, the fat experience on Sunday. Um, went to the games on Saturday Monday, so it was just... It was like the circus came to town almost. It was, it was crazy, but... We're back to normal now. It was fun. It was fun. Um, and I don't know when the next Final Four will be back in Phoenix. Probably like 2032. I know the Women's Final Four, I think it's 2026. I think that's coming to Phoenix. I don't know if I'll be able to go to that, though, because ticket prices are going to be through the roof on that one. Because that's at a, foot, at a Footprint Center. So. All right. I will gladly take that. 13 kilometers away. All right. Here we go. Who's worse? White Sox or Marlins? The Marlins could conceivably turn things around. I don't see any hope for the White Sox. I don't see any hope for the White Sox whatsoever. All right, let's see. Carry now. All 
If I three people, I'd rather the Huskies and the Chiefs. Oh, you and me both. You and me both. Odds the Fever win the title in the WNBA. I would say fifteen percent. I would say fifteen percent. Summer Marin for one month now. Thank you so much. Really worried about the Marlins. One in ten. The spin nightmare that I cannot escape. I don't know how to react. I'm trying to stay calm. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I will say this. It is very, very early on the season. I mean, it's not looking good for Miami, but it is very early on the season. I would say, look, the Nationals in 2019 were 19 and 31, and they ended up doing a lot of really good things. The Braves in 2021 were 19 and 31 to start. They did a lot of good things. The A's, if you ever saw Moneyball, they were terrible for the first two months of the season. And then look at what, what happened to them. I, I would say... We are one sixteenth of the way through the season. This is basically the equivalent in the NFL of starting 0-1. Your season's not over if you start 0-1. There is plenty of time. Plenty of time. And remember, it is a marathon. It is an absolute marathon. Obviously, you don't want to be 1-10, but it is a marathon. A few stretches where you go 6-4, and four, and you're back to 500, like 50 games. Like, that's... And then you're, you're right in it. Remember, especially back in the, especially back in the, in, in, in today's, like, if this was like the 1950s, yeah, I'd be terrified because only one team makes the playoffs in each conference or league, and that's the World Series. I have to guess. I have no clue. I have no clue. I've seen no hints. I'm just going Missouri. It was Dallas. I, I thought, I didn't know if that was any of a company or, or. It's still like, like a Dallas thing with a truck. I didn't know if that was the name of a company. Not, but M. Shortle. Nice win, man. Nice win. Nice play. 24K. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. All right, we're going to go world. We're going to go world. Let's see what happens. Kevin King signed with the Falcons. There are some risks there. He hasn't played since 2021. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming it's it's not... Like, they can get out of that contract. He's like, look, 90-man roster, he's got potential, I guess. Worst that happens is you just let him go. They're not, they're not begging him to start or anything like that. Oh, you saw a Fort Worth symbol. You saw a car dealer with Fort... Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that, that would be a pretty good hit. That'd be a pretty good hit. I did not see any of that. Fact or fiction, Jordan Tayamu gets benched this season. I'm going to say fiction. I'm going to say fiction. He came around the second half of that game. Again, this is world map now. But, I mean, he's not playing well. I mean, I, if I'm doing power rankings right now... All right. Dot I-E. What's worth that? Yeah, okay. You know what country we're in? It's not an issue there. If I'm doing power rankings, I'm going to put out a power rankings video on JJ News. I'm going to do like, I have to do like 10 videos on JJ News. It's going to be crazy. But if I'm doing that, my power rankings for the UFL are 1, Birmingham, obviously. 2, San Antonio. 3, I'm saying St. Louis. 4, I'm going to go Arlington. I know they're 0-2. But I still think Arlington is one of the top half of the teams in the league. I like Luis Perez. Uh, obviously, the running game is not good, but we knew that. And they played two really good teams. They played two teams that are really, really good. Five, six, I would say. I'm going to go Memphis at five, only because I like Casey Cocos more than EJ Perry. So six, I'm going Michigan. Seven, I'm going with DC. And then eight would be Houston, obviously. Houston is it's terrible. Though I think they get better with Sinet than they do with... Um, than they, they do with Gorontano. Gorontano's out for a few weeks. Zach G with the tenor, thank you so, so much, man. Got an A on my police reform paper. Congratulations, man. And I worked really, really hard on that. Congratulations. Can the next set be West Virginia? Oh, you know. We're going to do some country roads next. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Next set, we'll do some country roads. No dogs, no jogging. So you can run. So you're allowed to run. You just can't jog. Okay, so... Okay, Ashbourne... Dog, I, I don't know where this is in... Obviously, I know the country. I know the country we're in. I don't know where this is, though. Oh, oh, I just saw Ashmore at the last second. That's okay. Just swapped it in Dublin. I swapped it in Dublin. Seen Hall being UConn by 15 is one of the most impressive game results looking back in it. Yeah, Seen Hall should have been in the tournament. Indiana State should have been in the tournament. St. John should have been in the tournament. 
Why does no one use the Dallas flex defense anymore? That's a good question. I don't know the answer for that. I honestly don't know the answer for that one. All right, security data. All right, so this is somewhere in Latin America. It's like, I, I wouldn't know a whole lot about that. I, Brett Coleman might be your guy on that one. Brett Coleman might be your guy on that one. I see has some very good breakdowns on film and like the history of schemes. He might be, he might be your guy there. All right. Okay, so we've got a church. Okay, I know we're in Latin America. I just don't know where. At what point should Houston sports fans start to pack about the Astros? I would say after 20 games. I, I think for the most part, after 20 games is when it's time to... Because that's basically the equivalent of going 0-2. And if you go 0-2, yeah, it's a bit concerning. Except for 20. All right. Laguna de Paca. All right. All right, so somewhere on by a lake, obviously. Who'd be having more Bayern or Barcelona? Oh, Bayern's been a train wreck this year. I'd say Bayern. I'd say Bayern. I mean, that gap in the in the Bundesliga is just insane. Like, Leverkusen should not be up by that much. Like, Bayern's just terrible. All right. Here's some of these photos. Oh, I've got to figure out something. Mm, I don't know where we are. It's very mountainous. It's very, very mountainous. I'm gonna go here. I don't know if it's right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Peru. Oh, let's go! Let's go! I didn't even see any hints besides I'm just saying it's mountainous. Oh my goodness! I'll take that. I will take that. Prime Joe Montana or Prime Tom Brady? Prime Tom Brady. 50 touchdowns, Tom Brady? I'm taking that. Adam Silver's killing the league. There's a lot of decisions he is making that's not that are not good. I think he, he's got a lot of goodwill for the for the Donald Sterling band for life, and he's carried that goodwill for the last decade. Because it seems like the NBA is one step forward and three steps back. Partial Eclipse in Arizona? I was... Um, we didn't get a whole lot. We didn't get a whole lot. Yes, there was, yes, no requests are coming. Yes. Absolutely. I've got the John Hale doc. I've got the um, John Hale doc, the, the Cardinals uh, Giants 83 game. I've got those ready to go. I'm just waiting until after the draft to, to publish them. But yes, they are they are coming. Um, just wait until after the draft when it becomes more topical. But we are good. Yeah, Cardinals Giants, I've wanted to do that one for a while. The John Hale doc, we are doing that. Because these are going to be like 30 minute, 30 plus 40 minute videos. How many times will Mike McCarthy be on Dumb Decisions next year? Six? Yeah, I, I would say over-under on that is... I, I'd honestly say seven. All right, Ugale is... Six, yeah. And, like, the other thing is, like, some of these are member requests. I've just gotten so many that, like... If you haven't seen it yet, uh, it's other member request videos. I thought Billy Packer was good. I thought Billy Packer was good. Storing through the party like my name is El Nino. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, I didn't really see a whole lot of the Eclipse in Arizona. All right, this is, all right, that looks language-wise very, very, I would say, what are we going with language-wise on that one? I'm, I'm going to go here. I don't know if it's right. Just based on the language on that bus. Yeah, I'm going Poland. Eh, not terrible. Not terrible. You got Estonia. Good job there. You saw English on a stone roof. I guess Scotland on that one. Yeah. I, oh, wait. Oh, that was a while ago. That was a while ago. What a close to my life. I saw the one in um, a few years ago. The last one. What, 2017 that was? Yeah, my junior year of college. Yeah, August 2017. I saw that one. It's South Carolina and the Marlins are down. Fantastic. Uh, South Carolina, the new UConn in women's basketball. Yeah, I'd say so with Don Staley as coach. Yeah, I would say absolutely. Who's more dominant? 0607 Florida or 2023-24 UConn? Look, I love those Gator teams. UConn was more dominant. UConn was way more dominant. 
Their 23 was better than UConn's 06. You could say that that 07 and 24 were equal, but UConn just, they, they crushed everyone. No game was even close. Every game was double digits. It wasn't even close. Like UConn, that was the most dominant tournament run I've seen in my life. Game show host said spinning farewell on June 7th. I think it's Pat Sajak. Because he's, um, I know it's retiring from wheel. I know the exact day. I'm guessing it's June 7th. Yeah, Zach Campbell. Yeah, I'm not crazy about Zach Campbell. There's a lot of things he's done. I don't know if he's going to get banned, but. Um, rare Jay Jones on Tuesday. How's it going, Jay? Yeah, we're doing it on Tuesday just because um, couldn't do it on Monday because of the, the championship. I was at that game. All right. Where did, do these signs have any English or any what, discernible language? I do not see it. I'm not seeing any... Okay, I'm not moving the cursor like this. It's automatically doing this. I'm getting nowhere with it. Okay, I do see plates. Plates do help to some extent. To some extent, these plates help. This feels... Somewhere around here, potentially? I'm going to go somewhere around there. Well, you're Omaha get teams. I don't think we're getting any teams in any of the major sports, but I could see a UFL team at some point. If you guess North Macedonia, that good job. No one did. No one did. I didn't really see anything. College videos, yeah, they're coming. College and baseball videos are coming. I just have to figure out the right schedule for me and have to figure out some topics to do. But yeah, they are they are 100% coming. Believe me, it's been killing me. I haven't been able to get those out. All right. Where's the dentist? All right. Oh, wait. This. Uh, I can't make up that language. This truck will help. CL. Oh, what's CL? Oh. CL. Oh, what country has CL as their URL? Oh, man. I don't know what country is CL. So European country, I know that. All right, I see a sign here. gone that's yeah, gone yeah the Kevin King sign with Falcons um it's low risk it's low risk playing preseason if he's got it, obviously he's got a high potential gun if not it doesn't work out and no harm done oh never mind the plate okay that's why I was confused the plates completely confused me the language confused me too because none of this at first look at that but that okay because the plates were long the plates were super long and yeah, this is yeah, wow. So why was there why were there European plates? Cause I, I saw European I saw a European plate. Okay, yeah, that no, that's Chile. That's Chile. That's not that's why I was confused. I was like, what on earth? Alright, I'll take second there. I'll take second. Dummies, yeah, I think I'm gonna do it at the start of the, the season. Um I've just been so I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get so much out. I Dummies are coming. Dummies are 100% coming. All right, we're going to do some West Virginia now. Um, this one seems like the best one to do. Right, let's go 90 seconds. All right, here we go. West Virginia map. With South Carolina women's basketball having that epic dominant season, who are the other 91 schools or teams that a perfect unbeaten season have led to a national title? I do not know the answer to that off the top of my head. My college basketball knowledge is not very vast or in-depth. UConn women definitely had. UConn women definitely had. I know Bobby Knight did it. Did I see the John Boy video on the Mets and double plays? Yeah, the evidence is pretty overwhelming. The evidence is pretty overwhelming that they are not giving it their all. All right. So this is just West Virginia. This is just West Virginia. 
I've never been to West Virginia in my life. I think I drove like five minutes in West Virginia driving back to New York. That is an old-fashioned cinema. I like that. All right. Is it? It's Highgard. All right. Is there a... Is that just the name of the complex or is that the name of a, of a town in here? Where would Tiger be? If there even is. I don't, need, I don't even know there is, there is a Tiger. If that's just the name of the complex. But this seems like it would take you to a major road. All white screen, so just a random If you ever get a, an all white screen, oh, there's a Walmart. All right. Well, that. That doesn't really help. There's a ton of Walmarts. If you ever get a white screen, because I've gotten that before, just refresh. If you ever get a white screen, refresh, and it will it will always work. You were create. Oh wait, what was that sign? You create a place. Please All right, we got a Bud Light sign. Okay, this is this is every intersection coming off the highway. We are somewhere coming off the highway. I don't know where we are coming off the highway, but we're somewhere coming off the highway. Oh, that was the northern part. Fantastic. Not even close. Oh, someone found it. Wow. Good job. Cubs to Wolfgang was to plead. Council used the only relievers who were fresh. They blew an 8 nothing lead. Yeah, I did. I did see that. I did see that. I did not think they were going to blow that lead. It feels nice because the, the D-backs blew a 5-run lead and a 6-run lead. And yeah, we, we have company. We have company. <laughs> All right. Huntington, Charleston... Okay. Let's see. Huntington, Charleston. It's around here. It's 6452. West Huntington, 60. Well, you would figure... Where would West Huntington be? This is Huntington. You figure this one. Okay, so 64. Okay, here's West Huntington. All right. Figure 64. Are we at the border? Wait, okay, wait. We might be at the border of these two states. Maybe. No, not that. Okay. Nick, Joe. Do they have the name of the bridge? We're definitely. Definitely on a. I think we're on the Ohio River. I don't see the name. Definitely, I popped something up. Yeah, I popped something up. We're somewhere by there. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that. Why does Albuquerque have any good teams? Or, or any teams? Um, because small, medium market. Oh, wow. That is... Um... All right, I'm going to be very, very surprised if it's not. If we're not there. At that point. All right. Right by a train station. Where's a train yard? I don't know where we are here just yet, but we're. Oh, that's, that's probably the campus up there. Yeah, Howard Cassell, the ADC, was losing it, but he was good back in the day. So they go back in the day. Definitely either love him or hate him. But you can't deny he... He was unique. All right, we are by the Seneca Center. Okay. We're definitely in this city. I'm not going to be able to find the Seneca Center. I would assume based on all that. It has to be in Morgan now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was, that was a bit more north than I thought. All right. That's okay. Nick Hussell, look, he, he, was, he was unique. He was unique. Um... I liked him. I like Hussell. Okay, Emerson in Vienna. Alright, so 2 and 68. 2. 
You can donate to 10 bucks roleplay, whatever you want me to. Otherwise, we're just going to alternate between world and US, and the next one will be US at this rate. 2 and 68. Um, let's define 2 and 68. Sixty-two. That's gonna help me a whole lot. I should find two and sixty-eight. That's all I gotta do. So I'm not even moving. I'm just I'm just trying to figure out this map. I know we were in Australia. <laughs> two. Okay, I see 60, 61, see figure. Yeah, I have no clue. I could not find that. A lot of people did, so good job there. Sign wave release, Gronk Gonzalez Kelsey. Oh man, that is tough. All right, we're going to cemetery here. Man, um, release Kelsey. I guess sign bench release. I guess there's no difference between wave and release. Man, that's tough. I'm gonna say sign Gronk, bench Gonzalez, wave Kelsey. Definitely wave Kelsey. Definitely wave Kelsey. That one's that's the easy one. The the rest, that's tough. But I mean they're all first ballot Hall of Famer. Speaking of which, someone asked about Drew Brees. First ballot Hall of Famer, 100 percent There's no way he's not first ballot Hall of Famer. There is no way. That discussion will take all of five seconds. I'm just plopping it by a cemetery and hoping for the best. Let's see. What 90s commercial featured um, Phil Poswell eating breath mints? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember those ones. I don't remember those ones. You have no confidence whatsoever in the Braves doing anything when it matters. I mean, they got a good team. They got a good team. I, I have the Braves winning it all. So, we'll see. All right, I plopped it by the wrong cemetery. Or Urban Sinnoh with a win. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Why is FAFSA so difficult? I have no clue. I have no clue. You have to ask them that. I have no clue. Muhammad Ali got inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame? That is bizarre. I don't know. Oh, was Mentos? That seemed like the... I didn't know if that was too obvious, because Mendo is like the only company I know of. All right, U.S. map next. Let's change it back to two minutes. I cut it down to 90 seconds for the West Virginia just because the geogra the it's a smaller area. How far again are you smarter than fifth square? I'm pretty confident I would win it all. I am pretty confident. I, I retained a fair amount of that knowledge. And I, I was I was usually I was very good in, in uh, school with grade with grades. I would I would do very well in that show. We could actually you know we, we could we could we could play that. We we could we could try that out and see if I'm just being way too cocky, but I feel like I do very well on that show. Alright, this is definitely West Coast. How is this? Alright, the fake grass. You know this? I want to get on a major road. This might be Arizona. We're definitely, we are definitely on the West Coast. Which way do I want to go? Oh, let's go this way. 
This could be Arizona. Building something here. Okay, does this trash can say anything? What does it say? Is there a city name on there? No, there's not. All right. I'm just going to say we are somewhere in Arizona. And I'm going to guess we are by like, maybe like Peoria. I don't know. There we go. All right. We're not by Peoria. We're the opposite end. We're by Queen Creek. Okay. All right. I'll take that though. I'll take that. Zach, you have to do it. Thank you so, so much. Let's set that clock by a bit. Um, what are we going with? No, not that much. Um, there we go. I drive on the road with the PRT or ride the PRT. There, nice. So that was probably pretty easy for you there. It's probably pretty easy. Ooh, that's a nice catch in left field by the Marlins. That's a nice catch there. All right, I guess the wrong side of, of um, Phoenix. There we go. Beat the Mets, defeat the Mets, do the fans a favor and delete the Mets. <laughs> that's good. It's a catchy song. Catchy, catchy song. All right. Mother's Day out. Just what is, what does that mean? Mother's Day out. Does that that either does it mean like Mother's Day is no longer a thing, or is it Mother's Day out like like you're dropping like a new album, like new album out? Like we don't say Halloween out, Christmas out. What does that even mean? What does Mother's Day out mean? Okay, that was a weird sign. Okay, I don't know what that e or I don't know what that you are or not you all that area code is. Tremont Mansion, don't know. Does ranch belong to pizza? No. No, absolutely not. It over it would overpower the sauce. I just don't get what's the point of pizza then? Because pizza is pizza is bread, sauce, and cheese. And if you have ranch, it overpowers the sauce. So at that point just at that point just dip a piece of bread in ranch. At that point just dip a piece of bread in ranch. You know, say best on code, then you have a definite advantage because I do not. I do not. I do not know my area codes that well. Which annoying ads would I rather deal with? Liver King Twitter ads or FanDuel YouTube ads? I mean, FanDuel YouTube ads, definitely. Because you can skip those after five seconds and I make money off off ads that are on YouTube. Um, now, Liver King ads, they're just, they're promoting unhealthy stuff. They're promoting unhealthy stuff and they're not even true. Twitter is running out of advertisers. It's 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 bad. Double dip their chips? Oh, I know I have no problem with that. I have no problem with that. So you're not doing it in a communal bowl. Like you want to you want to double dip? Go for the double dip. Ain't enough the first time? Go for it. No problem with that. Okay, no clue on this one. I've seen no hints. I'm just going. Oh, okay, I'll take that. I was like, you know, what? that feels like Kentucky-ish. I'll take that. What collapse was worse, 2022 Mets or 2023 Dolphins? Um, I would probably say... What's funny, I was going to guess this, this place before. Um... I'd say the Dolphins because they had such a huge lead on that division. Yeah, Mets wasn't really a, a collapse. I don't really consider the Mets to be a collapse. The 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 Dolphins they they had such a huge lead. Oh, Pizza Ray Bianco. Oh, I did not address Pizza Ray Bianco question, but we just got to add. Oh, well, it's great timing. Glendale Police. All right, but it's not Glendale, Arizona. I can tell you that much. There's nowhere in Arizona that looks like this. Glendale, where is Glendale? Where, is it further up? No, it's not, no, it can't be that, it can't be further up. Where is Glendale? I, I know what state, I know what state we're in. That's not the issue. Oh, here we go, here's Glendale. All right, 
there we go. It wasn't popping up at first. I'm like, it's a pretty big city. I was like, what am I missing here? All right, now we are, I need a New York life building. Give me a New York life building. Downtown, we're on Brand and Duran. Come on, I need New York life. Where is, I just need like a New York life build. Bran and Duran. Someone's gonna get 5K on this one. Someone is absolutely gonna get 5K on this. I already know it. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. okay it was a bit further north. Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah, I, knew, I knew it was California. I knew it was California. I just didn't know where in California it was. All right. This is... It's like by a border. This might be like a... Or a park. This, has, this is probably like a park. Go into like a national park or something. Oh, it's a fort. Okay, it's, it's fort. Um, so, we like on a military base or something? Oh, I can't go any further? I have to like stay on the... Mm, that's gonna make things tough. That's gonna make things very tough. I have to stay on the base. Do you like mayonnaise with or without olive oil? I don't have... I don't like mayonnaise at all, so it's no real difference. All right. Oh, it seems to be just we're in that state. All right, that would seem to be just we're around here. I saw something for this, and I don't know if that means anything. Fort Moore. Where is Fort Moore? Okay. I saw... The only reason I'm going to go here... I don't know if it's going to be... Oh, crow. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, switch, 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 switch. I saw something for Albany. I was like, okay. But then I saw Columbus at the last second. I'm like, okay, just put in one of the two. And it was in Columbus, Georgia. That's bad. That's bad. All right. I mean, the WWE, not a whole lot. No, not really. But Jesse Kelsey's going to wrestle? Oh, that's cool. I might watch that. If he's going to wrestle, that'd be cool. Tree is 600K. He's been stuck on 590 for a while, so that's awesome. That's awesome to see. He deserves it. You know, so someone say, apparently he put out a video today on the Jaguars state. Apparently DG put out a video on the Jag Stadium renovations. There's no way it's it's any good. I guess I'll check it out later, but there's... Just to see how wrong he is. Or how much he plagiarized. There's nothing. Alamo City Golf Trail. Alright, just based on that, I would assume... Alamo City Golf Trail. I don't know why you would do Alamo. I assume Alamo City would mean that. You gotta go. Have a good night. Thank you so much, Kiwi. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. We do this every Monday night again. We're doing this Tuesday night just because of uh, the series, uh, the, the college, the college basketball. Yeah, Louisville could get a team. Louisville could get a team. Absolutely. Parents with the game with the Blue Jays blew the 8 1 win. That's a joke. That's a joke. That game was rough. What game show made a lot of jabs at Howard Cosell in the 70s? I don't know. 
I don't know the answer to that one. I would guess... We guess press your luck? Oh, no, probably Hollywood Squares. You know, probably Hollywood Squares. You know, final answer, Hollywood Squares. Final answer, Hollywood Squares. I don't know the answer. Yeah, Alamo City would have to be uh, San Antonio. I'll take that. But it's Urban Citadel with a win. Congratulations. They changed my setup. Um, I got new lights. I got these LED lights that change colors. I got these these nice lights at Staples. So we can change the color on them, and I can do like a little light show every time a team scores a touchdown. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Do that. Yeah. But I didn't change the setup. No, I just got lights. <laughs> That's all I did. All right, roll map next. All right. What NFL team is in the baddest team of relocation? Chargers. Chargers to go back to San Diego. LA does not need two teams. All right, let's see what we got. In the chat. Trying to get to everything I possibly can. All right, we're going to go world map here. Have you ever been to Pittsburgh Bianco? It's good. It's just, it's not worth the wait. <laughs> it's not worth a two-hour wait. But the hype is real. The hype is real, but I like Via Della the best. If I'm going pizza in Phoenix, I'm going with Via Della, I'm going Pinos, and I'm going with, um... All right, well, this is world map again. I'm going Via Della, I'm going Pinos, and I'm going with Grimaldi's. If I'm going to go pizza, I'm going to do one of those. All right. Well, I know where we are, but... Yeah, now, now with the snow, I definitely know where we are. <laughs> so if there was any doubt before in this world map, where we are... The um, problem is that this is a giant place. So I'm not sure how close I can get at all. Okay. If I just plop it downtown... I gotta be smart. It's, it's the first round. If I just plop it and be... Oh, the antenna, I think I just threw that thing out. It served no purpose. Because you had to, like... The antenna only, like... I would need, like, a wall antenna. The antenna that they gave was one of those you plug into the... You you, you put into the, the wall, that like, the, the thing already. But I already have cable, so there's no reason for that. Thoughts on the same family guy? It's been averaging less than a million viewers ever since Fox moved to Wednesday. Yeah, I don't know why you messed it up. Why would you mess up a winning formula? Why would you move Family Guy to Wednesdays? It just doesn't make any sense. Family Guy's gonna be fine. Worst case, they'll just move back to Sundays and and they'll do like a whole joke about it, like how they when the Cleveland show got canceled and Cleveland came back to Family Guy, they did a whole like two minute just roast of the Cleveland show. They'll they'll do that. That's crazy. Why would you? They were getting like two or three million, I think, an episode on, on Sundays. There's no reason for them to move Wednesday. So why not just, if, if you want to have five shows on Animation Domination, just have a show at 7.30. Alright, I'm just going to go down to Montreal. Play it safe. Playing it safe. I was not going to find the suburb, so just play it safe. Family Guy has its moments. Family Guy has its moments. Obviously, it's not what it once was, but it has its moments. Alright, these are long plates... And the language is not English. So that is a... Oh. Way too far. There we go. That means we're in that country. All right. Now, where in this country are we? All right. I think if, if the clock goes down to five minutes after this round's done, I think we'll just... We'll do the art. Is that a home run for Anthony Volpe? Is that a home run? No. Oh, that was close. I think, you know, we'll, we'll do Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. I'll have to see if there's a... I'll try and find Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. And I'll, I'll play... Because so, someone did ask. How would I do on that show? And I want to see if there's a website that you can play. I would do it. What kind of phone does Sam Grassi have? Because it's not Apple. Um, yeah, I have no clue. Look, I don't... I don't um, I don't know what kind of phone he has. I have no clue. Um... Not an Okia, I can tell you that much. <laughs> it's not an Okia. Alright. Eggs Lou, Tear Apple, Muscle Canal. Uh, okay, I know, again, I know where, what country we're in. 
But where in this country? Where in this country are we? Man, where in this country? You find Crazy Joe with a tenor! Thank you so, so much. Thanks for the respite from the omnipresent venom of an election year. Oh, man. Oh, it's going to be... It's going to be crazy. I apologize in advance for the ads that you'll see on my on my channel in the next six months. I don't control the ads that pop up, but I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of election stuff that pops up. Um, but thank you so much for, the, for that. Travel and sports ball, the opiate of the people. There you go. There you go. Is there any map that you want me to play in particular? Because you donate 10 bucks. So because you donate 10 bucks, uh, we can play whatever map you want me to. So if there's any map in, in mind that you want me to do after this, we can do that. But thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it, man. Yeah, I want to give people a break from from politics. I really don't want to. Oops, I really don't want to do politics or anything like that. Like, again, I don't talk politics on my channel. That's for a reason. That's for a reason. You're here for football. You're here for sports, and I want to give you football and sports. So, I don't want to do stuff that's divisive. I want to do something that's like in the grand scheme of things. It's not very not very meaningful in the grand scheme of things. So, thank you so much. That really means a lot to me. It really means a lot. Yes, yeah, so you can get your election coverage anywhere. A map featuring the most foreign country I want to visit the most. Ooh. All right. I have an idea in mind. I have an idea in mind. Because I did say Australia would be nice at some point. But we've done Australia before. So maybe just like a Pacific Islands map. That's all we'll do. We'll do a Pacific Islands map. Let's let's try that. Factor Fiction. Jordan Tiamu gets benched for Jones. I don't think he'll get benched. No, I don't. Um, He did play well in the fourth quarter. He did play well in the fourth. I, I don't think he's getting benched. Plus, even if he did play badly for whatever reason, do you think Reggie Barlow has the capability of benching them? I think that Reggie Barlow knows what he's doing. Like, the only... Like, you'll know, like, the only video I've ever done... I did two videos on politics in my life. One on JG9 News, one on JG9. And it had nothing to do with politics. It was NFL related. So one of them was the RFK ad. And that was just in the context of the ad, because I talked about tons of ads. I didn't even bring up his political views or anything like that. I was just like, in the context of the ad, here's why I think this worked. Because now you know he's running. I didn't even bring up anything about po politics. And then the JG9 News vid I had to bring up because obviously Aaron Rodgers was potentially running for vice president. So I just want to bring up the logistics of how that worked. They didn't bring up his viewpoints and bring up anything like that. Just was like, I mean, could this work? And yeah, the, the, the way the schedule works, like you could theoretically do it, especially because he's not doing a whole lot of campaigns right now as it is. Um, so yeah, I don't want to. So I, I did not want to do that. So. You know, I try and keep the politics out, which I think I think works. I think is better for for everyone. We don't need more political talking heads. All right, I went like Austria. It's Lithuania. Wow, that was really far north than I thought. All right, so we'll do Pacific Islands next. Okay, again, this is world map. Let's see. Well, I don't know what kind of fun Tony Grossi has. The, the Cleveland Sports War? I don't know. I've, I've never met him in my life. I have no clue. Who's more likely to get an NFL team? San Antonio or Texas? I think San Antonio is more likely. After the whole bungling of the Bills-Toronto series, I'm not sure the NFL goes back to Toronto. San Antonio, I feel like, yeah, obviously Jerry Jones would be very furious about. He's tried to block it from happening, but if they do go 36 teams, I think I think you could pay a lot of money to Jerry Jones to get him to to drop it. I think if you if you give Jerry Jones like if the NFL says look okay, so you're gonna have to pay the expansion fee, which would be like four, five billion, whatever it is, and then we're gonna give you the Texas teams an extra billion dollars or something like that as compensation. And you you could also make it. You could also if if you Give compensation to Jerry. Here's the thing: if you, because if you're gonna go 36, by the way, the Braves are four nothing with the bases loaded, nobody out. This is not good for the Mets. If you give compensation to the the Cowboys and the Texans, and you make a rule that says the Cowboys and the San Antonio team can't play at the same time, put that rule in place. Yeah, I think I think it's I think you can get it done. Because if they do go 36, because if you put a team in Mexico City, you're obviously not going to have 33. 34 wouldn't work. 
So you're going to go 36, and San Antonio is, it makes the most sense because you're not going to put just one team by, by itself in Europe. All right. I know we're in Latin America. I don't know where in Latin America we are. And I would guess the teams, if they were to do it, would be Mexico City, San Antonio, and then... I don't know the other two. Oh, that was not even close. Was that... Our, that was Uruguay. Oh, someone got that right in the money. Oh, of course it's M. Shortle. Of course it's M. Shortle. Just pulled away on that one question. Congratulations. Oh, wait. Oh, still got one, wait, still got one more round? All right, let me try refreshing. Oh, this, this is going to be a cheap way to end it. Isn't this... Oh, it's a different place. Okay. I, it looked like the exact same place. I'm like, no, okay, this is not the same place. Okay. Never mind. That looked like the exact same... Position player on the mound right now in Atlanta. They're not allowed to do that. They're not allowed to do that, but I... I they got the out at home, at least. I really wish there was a rule, though, that if a position player does pitch and does do hit certain criteria, like the Royals guy last year, that they can be used in any situation. I really wish there was a rule like that. Like, if you hit certain criteria, like you throw a certain speed, you get X amount of guys out, like, you can do it. It sounds like the Yotes are basically leaving Arizona since the mayor of Scottsdale said, we don't want you. I mean, he doesn't really have any jurisdiction, though. They're building the, it, the arena would be built outside of Scottsdale. The arena is not in Scottsdale. He really has no jurisdiction over that. The Dave Roberts rule. Who, who was the guy on the Royals last year who came in and just started... He pitched in college for a bit. He started throwing, like, 90. It was, like, 92-mile-an-hour fastballs with, like, actual curve on them, like... Who was that? He was phenomenal. I know what country we're in. Um, but I am not going to get anywhere like close. I mean, this one's basically over. So I'm just going to plop it in the middle of this country and hope for the best. Yeah, who was that guy in the Royals? It was um, Nate Eden. That's the one. Nate Eden. Yep. Was that a year ago? That was literally April 11th. Oh my goodness. I remember that too. That's insane. How was that over a year ago already? Like, like that was great. Yeah, Nate Eden, yep, that was the one. How's it going, JLX? I'm assuming 16 days away from opening up the draft. It is crazy. Crazy. I still have to, like, do some, like, major work on the prospects. And I'll post that on JG9 News when I get done. But I, like, do very in-depth scan reports and everything. All right, we're going to do... I'm assuming there's a Pacific Islands map. Is there? Pacific Islands. No, that's not. All right, we're going to... We're going to... We're going to try this. All right. We'll do Pacific Islands. See how this goes. I'm a join. All right, Hindinger. Um, Hind Anger. Hind Anger. There you go. Nate Eaton has his many strikeouts as a pitcher in his career as a home run set. Yeah, maybe he should switch to pitcher. Honestly, he, he's got some stuff. No, wait, did the Mets get out of that? Oh, my God, the Mets got out of that. You know, it was 4 nothing bases loaded. you think it's doomsday, but they got out. We got the outer home run double play. You know, 4 nothing's not the worst. Yeah, I did see that. I did see that with Salt Lake. Um... The NHL team happens, yeah, they go, it's going to be some Bs for the Beehive State. Well, they do have the, the, the Bs for their minor league baseball team. So I don't know what you would, maybe the Hornets? Although the Charlotte Hornets might throw a fit over that. Maybe the Hornets, the, the Stingers sounds very minor league. The Swarm sounds very minor league-y. Utah Bs, again, you got a team named the Bs already. Right. Utah Hives, Utah Hive. I don't know, Utah Hive. Utah Yellow Jackets? But that's, that's... I think Georgia Tech would throw a fit over that. Alright, again, this is Pacific Islands map. Which I don't know what it encompasses. And then after this, we'll do the Are You Smarter Than 5th Grade? Unless someone donates 10 bucks more, and then we'll, we'll do, um, no, we'll do whatever map they want me to. Again, this is, because someone said, like, where do you want to visit? Well, we, we did Australia already. We did Australia. I'm in a map before, so we're like, let's go Pacific Islands. I've never really done a Pacific Islands map before, so I have no idea what to expect. So I'll be broadening my knowledge here. Yellow Jackets. 
Problem is that, like, there was that whole outrage over when Las Vegas got a team. It was the Golden Knights. Army threw a fit over that. And that, like, not even the same name. Army is not the Golden Knights. And there was huge outrage over that. Um, so I don't know what they would have to do. Yeah. Frankfurt Yellow Jackets will also throw a fit at the old NFL team. Um, yeah, Gila Monsters NFL team. Well, that that that'll be funny because he because the um the big casino in um in Arizona is Gila River. So so Gila River, and then you you move the Coyotes to Utah, you make them the Gila Monsters. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I don't think people would be too happy about that. Utah. Yeah, they're definitely doing something B related. I did see that. Motor India, but obviously we're not in India. But maybe that means Indonesia? Maybe Motor India means Indonesia. Maybe that's what that means. Maybe Motor India just means Motor Indonesia. Hopefully this map doesn't have Indonesia. Like, I don't really want to... That's not really what I was saying. I was thinking, like, like Guam. I was thinking, like, Samoa. Like, like Cook Islands. Like, stuff like that. Utah Jaws with a shark logo. Ooh, that'd be cool. Yeah, it was in Asia. Yeah, that's not really what I had in mind with, when I did this map. I want... Yeah, I've never played this map before. I was hoping for, like, like Guam and, like, American Samoa, like, stuff like that. Yeah, Steve Clifford not coming back as the coach was announced yesterday. Yeah, they, they um... I think it was, it was a few days ago that he was, like, in a 7 to a front office role. Blazers most likely moving on from Billups. Mike Booneholzer, I feel like, is head on one of the two. I, I would think so. I know the the Warrens are interviewing the 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 assistant on the Kings, which I don't know how that would work because you have Miles Bridges on the team, and you know the the Blazers did try to get Becky Hammond, and then they went with Billups. So maybe they try make another play at Becky Hammond again. Maybe I could see that potential. Utah Blizzard. Oh, feels that feels minor leaguey. That feels minor leaguey. It feels very outdated, like a. Late 90s, early 2000s, like extreme kind of name. Yeah, again, I'm not sure how good a coach Booneholzer is, but I know the Bucks are definitely regretting moving on from him compared to what they have right now. But I mean, that, that tie, if I had an NBA um, channel, the, that would be a dumb decision of what Booneholzer did at the end of that game against the Heat, not calling timeout to advance the ball. I'm trying to think, what would be a good name for. Or Utah team, because you can't go Yellow Jackets. Sting doesn't work. Bees doesn't work. Stingers feels minor leaguey. Maybe, maybe go the, the Utah B movies. And you just it's it's just Jerry Seinfeld's your mascot in a bee costume. Just do that. Maybe something honey related. I don't know how you would say not the Utah honey, but I have no clue where we are. That was that, oh, that's not what I yeah. This this map is not that good. This is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. Um, so I, I didn't want Australia. I wanted like I wanted like a. Utah Scorpions is not bad. Utah Honeymoons. Yeah, I, I wanted like a, um, like, like Tonga, American Samoa, like French Polynesia. Not this. Utah Wasps could work. That could work. Utah Elks. Yeah, I think a certain basketball team would object to that. Who wins a Geo Guesser? Buster Rhymes or Ethan Horton? <laughs> Do I have to choose? Um... Maybe Ethan Horton knows, like, city names. He just doesn't know the weather in those cities. I think Buster Rhymes would just guess Ohio for everything. I think Buster Rhymes would just guess everything is a town in Ohio. Alright. Telefofo Falls Park. A 
Yeah, Scorpions is not a bad name. Scorpions is not a bad name at all. Alright, I have no clue. I'm just trying to go off language here. Yeah, this is not, this is kind of a bit of a dud. This is not what I was expecting with this map. You tell Venom, you know, that's actually not bad. You tell Venom is not bad. Landfill, and then... Oh, that ends in a J. Yeah, okay. So I, I, I think we're somewhere around there. So I don't know what language is ending J, but it's not, it's not English. I'm going with Samoa. Did I have the right idea? Okay, I have the... That was Guam? Oh. That was Guam. Wow. Who would win? Team 1 or Team 2 from earlier on GG9? <laughs> yeah, I love doing that. I love I love replying to Stephen A's comments um, and just asking. All right, well, I know that flag, so no point in trying to move on this one. I'm just going to plop it there. Team 1 or Team 2 in the, in the Door of the Explorer battle. Let's see. Let's see. What did I have as the teams? What did I have as the teams? Team 1 or Team 2? So Team 1 was... Diego, Map, Benny the Bull, East of the Iguana, and the Grumpy Old Troll. And then Team 2 was Swiper, Dora, Backpack, Tico the Squirrel, and Boots. Backpack and map negate each other. They have no arms. They're both useless. I had to separate them for that reason. Um, I don't think Tinko the Squirrel is if the Iguana would do anything. I don't think they would do anything. So that cancels each other out. They're too small. Not sure what their handles would be like. So it really comes down to this. Diego, Benny the Bull, and Grumpy Old Troll versus Dora, Boots, and Swiper. Now, Swiper at point guard defensively would be incredible. Swiper at point guard defensively would just steal the ball every time. Swiper at point guard would be insane. Dora and Boots, I mean, Boots has very good jumping skills. I mean, you could alley-oop, you could get the alley-oop very easily with Dora to Boots. The problem, though, is that betting the ball in the paint is a menace. Betting the ball in the paint would be an absolute menace. Grumpy Old Troll's defense is probably not the best, because his riddles were never hard. Like, Dora and Boots always got past the riddles every time it had to happen. So, I think Grumpy Old Troll might be a bit overrated. Diego, though, would, would crush Dora. Diego would crush Dora. Betting the ball in the paint would be great. Um, if you can just contain the alley-oops. I, I don't know. Who is stopping betting the ball in the paint? I, I'm going to go Team 1. I'm going Team 1 just for betting the ball in the paint. Anthony Davis out tonight against Warriors who had a headache and nausea. It's better than the... What happened with Chris Milton the other day? He, he got out of the game because of mouth trauma? What does mouth trauma even mean? I've never seen that on an injury report. Mouth trauma. I've never seen that. Billups inherited a playoff team and took them nowhere but south. I mean, to be fair, they, um, when they were going to, they were going to rebuild without with without Damian Lillard, but still. What controversial song for radio? Okay, there was a lot of controversial song. Became a hit in bars in 1986. Ooh. I mean, Relax was 1985. Controversial song for radio became a hit in bars in 86. But now it will soar. I'm just going to go there. But uh, yeah, this is not the map that I thought we were going to get. Yeah, it'll be mad as well teams. Yeah, at some point we're going to do that. Mike Zimmer, help or hurt the Cowboys? Oh, 100%. 100% help. 100%. He's a he's a great defensive coordinator. I think he's a good DC, and if you gotta get uh, Dan Quinn, obviously not coming back because he's Washington. Yeah, I think it's a good hire. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what song. I mean, there were so many controversial songs on the radio, on the radio back in the eighties. So, so many controversial songs. So I don't know. Oh, dental injury. 
Why didn't they just say that? Why didn't they just say jaw? Why didn't they just say jaw? We have Door Blues Clues. We haven't added any other teams yet. We're going to add one tomorrow when Stephen A. puts out his tweet because it's every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, day 30 Eastern. But I'll figure something out. Probably Phineas and Ferb team next. Probably Phineas and Ferb team next. That'll be fun. Yeah, the Sunday... Yeah. Yeah, why didn't you say... If they said jaw injury, okay, that's fine. Mouth trauma. I don't know why they label it as mouth trauma. All right. So here's what we're going to do now. Because we got no time left, but I did say, are you smarter than a fifth grader online? All right, we're going to try this. No, not that. All right. I want to see how this works. Okay. We're going we're gonna to try this. Yeah, let's try this. Take out the... Where's this image? All right. Nope, not that one. Blockade, there we go. All right. And who got the, oh, who got the win? There you go. Nice job. All right. Only the essential cookies. All right, we're gonna see how the heck this works. I have to, wait. Oh wait, this is not even, oh. You, oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Okay. No, I need like the... Uh, is there like an actual, like, like a free game? If there's not, I can't I'm try to see. There's a... If there's a... I'm trying to see if there's one. Oh, man. I'm trying to find I'm trying to find one online. I I don't think I can find one online. Um Yeah, welcome to Are You Smart? The fifth grade JJ puts trivia skills to test. I, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find a. I'm trying to find what looks like the. The game. I'm trying to find what looks like the actual game. But I cannot. Okay. Free. Maybe. Man, I'm, I'm I'm trying to find I'm trying to find like just a an online version, but I don't think I can I can find it. Okay. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Uh, trying to I man, that's a bummer. This is a bummer. I was really looking forward to that. I'm surprised, like, because you can play, like, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy online. You can't do... You can't play any smarter than a fifth grader? Online? Online? All right, I guess this is as good as we're going to get. I don't... I, this is not what my preferred method is. Okay, but... This is obviously not what I wanted. I wanted, like... Like, it shows you what's first grade, what's second grade, but I guess we'll try this. Princess and the... Well, that's... Alright, we're off to a good start. We're off to a really good start. 7, 8, 5 rounds and there's 100, alright? There's 100, that's 800. Duh. Full form... We did not learn this. We did not learn that in school. Budapest, that's Hungary. That one's easy, at least. Lisa is afraid of spider. Okay, well, Lisa's a proper noun. Spider's a noun. Afraid is a verb. Preposition. I think it'll be of, yeah. I know this from SpongeBob. 
one of the best jokes. I prevail. I've never heard of them. 206. I remember that. Square root of 49 is 7. What's not a compound word? Nope. Professor is not a compound word. How many cups are in... Oh, 28 fluid ounces. Oh. How many cups are in 28 fluid ounces? Proper noun. I mean, that's that's easy. This is obviously not what I what I was looking for. Okay, lake meat is definitely not one of the five lakes. So homophone. That that just sounds the same. So that's one. The war of the roses. Oh, I. We definitely did not learn this. We definitely we definitely did not learn this. Okay, let's look at the, the photo, maybe. The War of the Roses. All right. The War... I, I would... I would guess England. Just because the language. Oh, duh. I mean, I knew, I knew that, yeah. Show me the results. Oh. I think what I got 13 or 14 right? Yeah, I and mean, that's yeah. Man, the Budapest one from Arnie Sarandon. Please tell me she got that one right. That was that was really easy. Yeah, so I was um she was a contestant to say the least. I did like Kelly Pickler on, on Idol. She was very good live too. But um yeah, I feel like I would thoughts of Roman Reigns losing. Yeah, I did not see that coming. Did not see that one coming. <laughs> did not see it coming. But yeah. Um, again, I, I don't have, I don't, I couldn't find a version online of like, are you smart the fifth grade? Like besides that, like the, obviously if it's not what I wanted, but I feel pretty confident that I would do very, very well on that show. I feel extremely confident that I would do well on that show. All right. So with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. We got trivia tomorrow night at 9 PM Eastern. Go check that out. Uh, we got new videos dropping tomorrow on JG9, JG9 news. We got a lot of content coming out. And uh, UFL streams this week. I'll let you know the schedule for those. But yeah, thank you again for tuning in. And.